Rylan Clark Neal's decision to quit this morning just as rumors about the future of Big Brother started to circulate led to conspiracy theories about his future. Headlines ranging from him becoming a dad to splitting up or even being very unwell quickly spread, but today the former X Factor star has decided to set the record straight. The decision to leave the ITV daytime show was simply down to his mental health after years of a demanding 24-7 telly schedule, and he's backing BB to continue to its 20th anniversary two years from now. In an exclusive interview backstage on his nightly Channel 5 show Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side, Rylan tells me, I got a load of S when I had a break from this morning after five years. Some news outlets have said I'm having a baby, getting divorced and terminally ill. I'm really missing being there. But I just need time to myself. People think there's an ulterior motive and there's not. I just needed a break for my head, for my body, for my peace of mind. I just needed a little break from working three, four, five jobs. That's all. I don't get holiday. I'm self employed. That's a really big risk for anyone in telly. There's always 100 people that are ready to do your job, but I needed to do it. People forget you're not just on telly for that hour. Today, for instance, I'm up at 5.0 and a Big Brother eviction night. I wouldn't have got home until 1 a.m. For my head, I just need to take a little break. Earlier this month, Rumors emerged that Channel 5 might axe Big Brother after its contract with Endemol ends this summer. But Rylan is confident the long-running legendary format still has legs, explaining, if it didn't come back I would be utterly devastated. When C4 got rid of it, I rang the helpline in Heat magazine. I was that devastated. Not many reality shows can say they've been on air for 18 years. I'd love to see it make 20 years, of course I would. I think it's time to make Big Brother what it was. I've always had 1 million percent faith in the format and that it can be the greatest show on telly. CBB and BB were said to have suffered with a surge in popularity for ITV2 rival Love Island and Rylan concedes, there are changes coming, definitely. They did such a great job with Love Island. Rylan will have more time this year with his husband and former BB contestant Dan Clark Neal, who already has teenage son, Cameron, from a previous relationship. Rylan says, we're absolutely fine, but I just want to enjoy my personal life. I'd love to have kids, but I just think it's when the time's right. I'm not going to sit here and say it won't happen. If it happens, I'll be very lucky and I'll love it. There's no doubt he would be a dad with the X Factor. If you want something to numb your mind this summer, Love Island's Chris Hughes has just the thing. After his 239 days of, er, fame he's written his autobiography, You Bandering Me. I dread to think what anyone could possibly want to know about his very normal life. He'll probably have to talk about me, given my reports on his rose with girlfriend Olivia Atwood and bad behavior. I can live without knowing what was in the party bags. Below are some title ideas Chris could have picked for his tome. Her days of twerking with foam fingers and straddling giant hot dog props are long gone, but Miley Cyrus proved she still has a cheeky side as she shared amazing new snaps with her 74 million Instagram followers. 
the singer posed in a skimpy silver jumpsuit and matching thigh-high boots before paying homage to Elton John at his tribute concert I'm Still Standing a Grammy salute at Madison Square Garden in New York on Tuesday night. And Mealy even captioned the snaps with the hashtag number B is back in an echo of Elton's 1974 hit. But the daring pictures are still a far cry from the eye-popping nude outfit she wore on stage at the MTV Vmas in 2013 alongside Robin Thicke. Let's hope that one has been locked away for good. It's been 20 years since Hannah's first hit the charts, but the girl band, who reunited on ITV's The Big Reunion in 2012, could finally be set for a full-on comeback. I can reveal that Simon Cowell is considering getting them back together after lead singer Selena Cherry auditioned for Britain's Got Talent on Tuesday. The band was comprised of Selena and bandmates Mariama Goodman and Naima Belchiotti, she wowed the judges with a Michael Jackson tribute to alongside husband Annie Oliver. After Selena said it was up to Simon as to whether Hannes would make a comeback, the music mogul said, I hadn't thought about putting you back together, but I won't rule it out now. Mariama, Naima, and Hivenli Danton have rejoined several times. Mariama is now a midwife, while Hivenli, who dated ex soap stars Matthew Marsden and Peter Andre, is an aerobics instructor. Selena told the BGT audience at the London Palladium, I turned 40 last year and this year marks 20 years since Hannes came out. It would be a great way to celebrate the anniversary. It is going to take more than a lightsaber for Zayn Malik to fend off the fashion police. The Star Wars Matt Singer, who also has the movie weapon tattooed on his finger, looked a mess in this mix of camo, ripped denim and a bright orange and black hoodie as he left a recording studio in New York on Tuesday. However, the toy accessory appears to be a source of inspiration for Zayn as earlier this week he shared one of his poems next to a moody picture of himself with his lightsaber. He follows in the footsteps of Taylor Swift, who also shared some of her own verses recently, 